Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday, then today is what? Yesterday was Tuesday, then today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So if yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Tuesday and today is Wednesday, then tomorrow will be Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. So today is Wednesday. We're in a new month. So the month is December. What number? Oh, and circle it today. There we go. What number? That's number one or first. So today is the start of the new month. So it's Wednesday, December 1st. The year is 2021. What season are we in? For a few more weeks, it's still fall, which is exciting. And then it's almost going to be winter, right? What is the weather like outside today? You can look outside of your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside of her windows. Remember you, I'm gonna have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways because where she sits in the classroom. When I look at my windows here at school, I see that it's sunny outside today. It's a sunny day. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, I mean, take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know that one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with your language and your tone of voice. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, you mean, take a deep breath. And try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day and your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation and that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best and that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. Let's go over our communication rights. We're adults and we have rights. And some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights. Uh, so this was a weird week. It was a four day week. So um, we did three yesterday and now the rest of the week we're gonna do four per day. Yeah, four per day. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's get started. I have the right to ask for, get, and give information. You're a person, and you have a right to ask for the information you want and to get it. Um, the challenge is that sometimes the people we're asking don't have the information we're looking for. So we might need to wait or ask someone else. And then you also have the right to give information. Um, but you want to be very careful who you give especially sensitive or personal information to. We want to give that only to safe people, not to strangers. I have the right to know about the people in my life and everything happening to me. You're a person and you have a right to know about all the people in your life and all the things that are happening to you. Challenges though is that sometimes people around us may not know, so we might need to wait or ask someone else. 
I have the right to be taught how to communicate and have what I need. Your person and your voice matters. So you have a right to be taught how to communicate in a way that works for you and to have what you need for that communication. Maybe it's a device, maybe it's a communication partner that understands what you're saying. Maybe it's lots of things, maybe it's visuals. Whatever you need, you have the right to that. I have the right to be treated with respect, your person. And you have a right for the people in your life to treat you with respect. And that is why everyone has that right. So that is why our first classroom rule is be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. Other people should do the same. All right. And then lastly, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling it's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. And you can always be more than one thing. Awesome job. How is this Cisco feeling today? Same old, same old. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last almost 21 months. Yeah. I don't even know at this point. <laughs> um, of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school, but I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm sad because I miss you and I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class. We're going to have so much fun, we're going to work so hard, and all this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all that, that makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. All right, but with that, meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I believe we're going to read at least part of, if not the whole thing, of chapter seven today. Um, and please remember, we do have our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting every single day. I think today we're going to do some exercise. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Wednesday. And I'll see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.